All right, BuckeyeHuddle.com here at Winton Woods High School. Uh, may not be a program in Ohio right now, turning out more talent. Justin Hill, top, newly top 50 right now. Yes, sir. Yes, congratulations sir. on that. A top 50 Appreciate edge it. rusher. Uh, Justin, spring is uh, getting going here, so you know visits are, are open back up. Dead periods over. Uh, I guess kind of first of all, talk about where you're at with things. You kind of mentioned you know you're you're getting ready to get your visits lined up. Where are you at with everything? Um, really, I had recently dropped my top ten in January New Year's, uh, and I've cut it down a little bit more. I know ten is a lot of schools to pick from, so I've been I've been just slowly chopping down and getting my spring dates out and i think i'm gonna pick like five schools to go on ov2 and um after i'll just pick from that but that th those five yep. and commit in um the uh, summer following after so days. you're looking at maybe like five june officials uh yeah or, around that time yeah hopefully if all things go, go, okay. go good and then maybe like a july or august decision before your senior season yeah it'll be in july i want to, okay. i want to do it on my birthday uh july 3rd but okay if if not july 3rd it'll be my mother's birthday on july 26th that works great you gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, well, beginning of the month at the end of the month yeah you got you got you got a choice definitely. um i do want to kind of ask you though about the season you guys just had you have um morphed from like i think you played a lot of linebacker uh your sophomore, sophomore year yeah. and then junior you, you put your hand in the dirt a little bit more uh came off the edge a little bit more is that part for, for the team was that yeah. for your future and kyle i mean kind of yeah. how how did that transition happen and how did that go for you really really i mean in my opinion i was happy i'm able to show colleges that i could do both from a linebacker standpoint our edge on passing downs, I can go rush the quarterback, and also I want to win. So we had a we had a decent amount of linebackers that that could go play this year, uh, and and I was able to go at the edge spot and um, just produce game game in and game out. So I really was I was I had like 13 and a half sacks, and um, my coach my DC was just like. He's, he's doing really good there, and we're not having problems at linebacker. So he kept me there majority majority of the year. But really, I'm, I'm I feel like um, my most most valuable part is my versatility, and I feel like I can play anywhere from that from that linebacker position, outside, inside, or off the edge. How did you like playing on the edge, though? Putting the hand in the it's dirt, fun, getting, man. sacks are fun. That's fun. It's so fun because I, I feel like I have a good eye for the ball and, and uh, coordination when I'm. Well, once I get past that O-lineman, I, I, uh, one thing I do want to work on is my technique, just pass rush technique, and, and uh, my run def run defense could could use a little work as well. I mean, I'm always looking to improve, but uh, yeah, I, I've been doing this since I was a kid, so it's, it's, it's always fun to go rush that quarterback. A couple of visits to Ohio State coming up at some point. When do you suspect you'll be back next? And kind of what are those visits looking like with Ohio State coming up? Um, I have one in March, the spring 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 ball. I think it's the 19th. I I post made it public, but I, I could repost again and, and check. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the 19th, and then I'll be up for one of my last OVs. It'll be between um, Ohio State and Oregon, whichever my last OV would be. Um, just trying to fit it all in, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I should be in Columbus at least two times yep. before I commit. Coach Laurinaitis, uh, Coach Knowles, yes, sir. Coach Walton, yes, sir. talking to a lot of guys there. What are they telling you right now? I mean, it, it feels from the outside looking in, it feels like they're trying to show you as a as a group that like, hey, we don't just recruit you because you're from Cincinnati, you're from Ohio. Right. Like we, it seems like they're recruiting, you making you a priority. Most do you, definitely. Do you feel that way? Yes, sir, I do. And, and most schools like just think that they're just trying to get us because we're Ohio kids. But no, it's really a, a relationship there, and they really have ideas for us. For me, in, in particular. Um, with, I was I was sitting in, in, in Coach Noah's office and he was showing me clips of what he wants me to be at that jack position, and I and I like that position because I feel like doing that with my versatility, it's like almost I kind of compare myself to like Michael Parsons. If that's just I know I know and I ain't on that level yet, but I like to uh, cause havoc as he does on a consistent basis. 
So, yeah. I covered Micah in high school. He very similar path as far as he would play middle linebacker, he'd yeah. play outside linebacker, play defensive end. So it's that's a good, I guess, guy to model your game after. Yes, um, Jermaine's up there, obviously. Really good freshman year, like really good Man. freshman year, and and Super building deception. toward a really good sophomore year. Um, obviously, he's gonna be a big part of their plans. You know, have you got feedback from him? Do you talk oh, to him and yeah. kind of yeah, and just you know what what does he tell you about his experience? Up he's there? like a big brother to me. Um, he's he's a baller, obviously, and he's gonna he's gonna, I, if they put him on the field a lot, he's gonna he's gonna ball another All American season. But um, yeah, he he calls me he calls me a decent a lot uh, a decent amount. And just speaks to me. He doesn't really press down on like come to Ohio State, all that type of stuff. But he's just really like, how am I looking at this? How am I going towards certain things in my recruiting process? So really, it isn't much of a, a pressure toward like he's not pressuring me. He's just because he went through it, the recruiting process, so he knows how it is, and he's just helping me along through it. He's somebody I can talk to. Do you, do you get some feedback from him to, as far as, like, what it's like for him up there? I mean, I'm sure it's yeah. a good resource for you. It's like, hey, like, you're going through this right now up at Ohio State, and, yeah. you know, you're considering Ohio State. So have you asked him, like, any questions about what his experience has been like up there, what what you would need to expect to, to be like or anything like that? Oh, yeah, he just, I mean, expecting me to be like, um, it's just I'm going to have to go put my head down to work, which I already knew that. Um, so that was going to be, I was going to do that regardless. But he was just like, Put your head down to work. Um, nothing's gonna be given to you. You just gotta work. He, he we both know how good each other are, and um, that we can both make plays. So we understand that we're uh, we have the skill level to go and do it. We just gotta have that mindset and um, worth ethic. Worth ethic. Sorry. James Laurinaitis gets um, I would call it a promotion if you want, but you kind of mm -hmm. solidified his future there at Ohio Proud State. Him, huh? Yeah. What 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 did that mean for you? Is just as someone who's kind of built a relationship with him, how yeah. important was that? It, it was really great, to be honest. Um, it's nice to know that I'm going to be coached by someone who's done it at that position, at that school, at the highest of levels for a long time, if that makes sense. Um, he, he played in the NFL for a ton of years, and the NFL turns a ton of years. Uh, play, and he just he just knows the ball. I mean, he's, he's done it. He knows the ins and outs, and he. It's good to have experience. You know that you're, uh, the, the person who's teaching you has experience. And yeah. you, it, it builds more trust. Yeah. So. Um, you, you don't got to sit here and rattle off your entire list, but some some schools you may visit this spring uh, mm -hmm. ahead of your officials. Um, I would be at o State, uh, Oregon. Ohio State, obviously. <laughs> uh, Oregon, Kentucky, um, USC. Miami, possibly, uh, Penn State, and then uh, I think that's it spring-wise. Spring and then I'll pick five out of those. Or I'll pick six. Yeah, yeah, it was like six or seven, I think. So yeah, I'll you're say. Make, make, making the rounds. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I make that make that decision. I don't want I don't want any regrets. Right. For sure. Um, you know how where where does Ohio State factor in and and you know obviously you got your top ten. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned they're going to get an official, so you got to oh, yeah. assume they're I mean, going to be one of the five or six. Oh, like, yeah. Kind of like, where where do they top, fit in right now? Oh, they're up there, obviously. I mean, they were probably one of the first, if not the first, school that I'm like I'm obviously going to official visit there. Um, my dream school. I'm, I'm an Ohio State fan. I'm not afraid to say that, uh, but. I also said that I wasn't going to be biased in, in my recruitment. I want to go where it's good for me because obviously this is my future. And I don't want to go anywhere where I'm just another number. I want to be, I mean, it turned into a better person, a uh, man, and obviously a football player. So, um, yeah, well, Ohio State's obviously up there, though, most definitely. Who's making it hard on you right now, though, as far um, as, you know, maybe not, you know, you, you got, you're got you yeah. looking at Ohio State, but who's who's making it? Who's making you think about leaving the state? Um, Oregon. Uh, uh, Oregon. USC has been made a strong push recently. Uh, and then Penn State, I would say. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of Penn State. Alabama as well. And I'm actually going to go up to Alabama. I got to actually um, – have to meet their new staff. Yeah. I've obviously talked to them on the phone a bunch of times, but in person. Were you surprised Nick Saban retired? Yes. 
really. I was definitely was. They would numb. Story was really, of the off season. <laughs> yeah, it was really um, Ohio State. It was it, it was Ohio State. Uh, Alabama was literally up there with Ohio State. Like it was it was crazy. And I seen it. And I'm like, nah, that's crazy. I was I, I was lost for words for sure. But everything you, comes in. You got you know so you got these. Last, kind of the last thing here. We got these visits coming up for you. Early on in the process, you know, it's oh, this is fun. I'm going to this game, or yeah. get to watch these two teams play, or I get to tour these facilities, or meet this head coach that I've never met before. Like yeah. now, it's like okay, you got to be watching these visits. You got to be with like more really of like a business, in, yeah, yeah sure. business decision. Like so, like what's important to you? As you try and sift through this, whether it's deciding on who to make officials to, or or ultimately like when you make a summer decision, what what are some, what are the big factors? Development. I know that sounds cliche, but development for sure. Um, really, really, I want a home vibe. Like where I'm at, I want to be happy. I don't want to just be like I don't want to dread doing something I love every day because I love football and, and going out and, and working to be better. I don't want to have to dread to go do that. So um, just being somewhere that's 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 uh, that makes me happy. Um, that development and then life after football, all that type stuff, just building me. Um, I, I would never say uh, playing early because I feel like that's on me. And like majority, majority of the time, that's on me. I have to go out and work. So. Um, that and then just relationships and trust within my coaches. So, doesn't All right, Justin, we appreciate you taking the time here. Appreciate you. Good luck on your upcoming visits. We'll catch okay. up with you soon. Yes, sir. Thank you.